Hello, Royal Family. Welcome back to Glam Queen of DIY. I'm Tammy, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to decorate my living room for the summer using multiple tones of blue. But if you're not subscribed to the family, please hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you know when I'm uploading. I have already pulled out some of my decor. Sorry for the lighting. I didn't realize I didn't have on all of my lights, but I have taken out some of my decor off of the wall. I have a few items out that I may use in the space, and I have things in my kitchen also. Now, you know, here on this channel, I show you real life as I am preparing to update my living room for the summer. curtains and this is my curtain color choice but and I'm using grommets there is a right way to hang grommets uh, just putting grommets up this way and hanging them is not proper unless you get the net because they, they are narrow hooks that will sit that grommet this way if you're going for this full pleated look but most people just hang them up and let them be. So your grommet should have this full pleated look, which is this way. The grommet should look like that, or that grommet should look like that. And if you do that, they got spacers, and the spacers are according to your grommet measure. A pool noodle from Dollar Tree. I just cut the noodle, put first piece up on the grommet. Before you connect that first and that second grommet together, it'll be first piece, your spacer, then your grommet again, which it'll give you this look. Then you'll take that grommet and it folds back and you'll put that next piece in. So on the back it looks like this, but on the front it'll look like this. And your curtains are, will sit with more a flared or, or more a shaped facing. I just measured, and if you measure your space, what I did was I went in from my space I took off two finger lengths. I'm going to hang up probably two and let you see me walk through the steps. Putting that in. And then there's a spacer. Coming back with the grommet here. Taking that next one. And this is the close up. And this is the close-up of the two curtains already up. I hope you're enjoying this hack. If it's actually helpful to you, drop me a comment. Say thank you for the hack. And this is what that one side looks like completed. And we're just going to duplicate the left side the same way we did this right. And these are the large blue pictures that we're going to hang on one of my accent walls. And if you would like to know where they were purchased from, check out that channel piece of the pie. As you can see with this large picture, 
I had to come up with a way that was easy for me to get it hung on the wall because the positioning of the hooks. Now I'm just hanging my wall sconces, but be on the lookout for the summer home tour that these will be different. Now we're going to clean those mirrors. Now I am using the alcohol to clean the mirrors and this is not a hack of my own. I actually saw the lovely style by Miss Linda where she does her cleaning with alcohol of her mirrors and her glass stuff and I wanted to give it a try to see if it actually worked very well. I noticed immediately that the alcohol was stripping away my sprayway and Windex and it's from the initial start it does give your mirrors a more vibrant shine. Thank you, Miss Linda, for this hack. I am truly loving it. And to everyone, if you're watching, make sure you go check out Miss Linda's channel. I'm going to drop her channel link down in my description box. The hack is a go for me. And I'm just cleaning my chairs. And if you're still watching and you're not a family member of the Glam Queen of DIY, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you do smash that bell. It'll turn blue. And you know every time that I do upload a video. And you know I love to use pillow covers for my pillows to create the color scheme that I do want in my space. I also did blue pillow covers as well. And I always just layer my pillows out so I can set up how I'm going to place my pillows on my chair. And I also did the same for my love seat as well. And I'm going to actually revamp this large vase. I'm going to spray paint it with that Rust-Oleum stone paint. Now for this DIY revamp number two, I'm going to spray paint this brown vase. And DIY number three will be just a repeat of number two. And here are my supplies. I'm using Rust-Oleum Soltis Blue, Gloss White, and that stone texture paint as well. 
under my entryway table, I have that white DIY face, and I'm just adding in my two lanterns just to jazz this area up a little bit more. This is my completed living room. I'm going to just do a pan around view and let you look at the space. But I'm telling you, all of these different colors, textures of blue looks very fabulous in the place. Now, the only thing that has it offset to me is the brown chairs. And I was going to paint them, but I'm looking to buy another set. So um, we'll have that coming very soon. And if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know I can't close out without letting you know. 
to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move. I'll see everyone of you in another upcoming video. Bye, everyone. Stay blessed and always stay positive.